All right, here we go, guys. Mr. Myas is here, and I'm going to be doing the second video of my two videos on position, velocity, and acceleration. So let's get into it. We'll let, take a look at these other examples. So here we go. We've got a graph. This is a position function graph um, of a radio control model car. We'll answer some of these questions about this, this graph. So was the car going faster at A or at B? Well, if we take a look, and we're going to when we do this, we're going to also explain why, right? We can't just leave it at that. We got to explain why. So the slope at A looks about like that. The slope at B looks about like that. Which one has a greater slope? And faster is speed, right? Or velocity. So since it's in, since this is uh, this positive slope is not as much as this positive slope we would say that the curve is steeper at point B. So the answer here is B, and there's something behind this here. It's making it cause funny. So I'm gonna say that um, the curve is steeper at point B. We can also has a greater slope, right? When was the car stopped? Well, the car is stopped when the slope is zero or when there is no velocity and the slope is zero right here between C and D. So we're gonna say between C and D. Why? Because slope is zero. Or we could say the velocity is zero. We want to know when the uh, which point the car's velocity is greatest. Now, velocity, remember, is negative or positive because it is a vector. So when we want it to be the greatest, we want it, the velocity, of course, to be positive, not negative. So we're looking for the slope at which it's the greatest positive. At which point are these? Well, these are pretty steep here, but they're negative slopes. This has the steepest positive slope at B. So we would say that the greatest velocity is B because the slope... of the position is greatest at point B. That's different than the car's speed. The car's speed is the absolute value of the, of the slope. So the absolute value of the slope of the position graph is greatest at point E, right? Right here, so it has a slope, the uh, largest slope, but it, an absolute value, the largest absolute value slope. So if we took the absolute value of that negative slope, it'd be positive and that's the greatest, all right? So let's take a look at uh, one more example here. And this one is on vertical motion. So vertical motion is basically when we're talking about a ball either being dropped or some sort of object being thrown up. Uh, most of the time we're looking at, at dropping an object. But if we throw a ball or an object into the air, then we have an initial velocity, right? Because we, we, got, we got to throw it up in the air. So we've got to push that ball. We got an initial velocity to it. If we just dropped it, Okay, we just took the ball and just dropped it, then it would have no initial velocity because we're just kind of letting it fall. So in this case, this has an initial velocity, and we want to know what that initial velocity is. We're, um, it gives a position of feet above the ground for a ball thrown into the air from the top of a high cliff. So I'm on top of a high cliff, and I throw it into the air, and then it goes up, and then it comes way down. Um, you know, it kind of looks like this. Uh, I'm on a cliff here and let me zoom in so you can see my guy and then i'm going to throw the ball up in the air and the ball's going to come down here okay i'm going to land on the ground right here all right so let's take a look the initial velocity so the initial velocity is v sub zero so in order for me to find that i first have to find the derivative of the position because that's my velocity so I'm going to get negative 32t plus 48, and I'm going to plug in 0, negative 32 times 0, which is 
48 feet per second. All right, so there's my initial velocity. At what time does the ball hit the ground? Well, the ball hits the ground when s sub t is equal to zero, right? Because there's no, this would be when, this would be when there's no height right here on the ground, no height. So I'm just going to set this sucker equal to zero. 48t plus 160 equal to zero. And this actually factors kind of nicely. t squared minus 3t minus 10. t minus 5. t plus 2 equals zero. And then I'm going to set each of these equal to zero. And I'm going to get t equals 5, or t equals negative 2. Now, uh, we're not going to have negative 2 seconds, right? I don't want to go back in time to see when it was, when it would have been on the ground. We're looking forward in time, so 5 seconds is my answer there, okay? Can't go back in time unless you're Marty McFly. Okay, so at what time does, that's an old 80s reference, at what time does the ball reach its maximum height? So it's going to re reach its maximum height right here, right? And right there, the slope of the tangent line is zero. So the maximum height, the maximum height is going to be when the velocity goes from being positive to negative. So the velocity is going to be zero. So maximum height is going to be when the velocity is equal to zero. So I'm going to take my velocity function, which I found in number 16, negative 32t plus 48. I'm going to set that guy equal to zero. And I am going to solve. Negative 32t equals negative 48, and t equals 48 over 32 seconds. All right, which, you know, that's about one, that's 1 1.5 if you want to reduce it. Okay, so key thing for this video here is understanding when the maximum uh, height is going to be. It says, it says at what time, right? If I wanted to know what the maximum height is, I would plug in 1.5 seconds into my uh, original formula to find the height at 1.5 seconds or the position. So the big thing is understand that the maximum height is when the velocity equals zero. We will want to find when it hits the ground, s equals zero. Find the initial velocity, velocity equals zero. We're taking the derivative of position. We can even ask a question about acceleration if we wanted to. We would just take the second derivative. Okay, folks. There you go, position, velocity, acceleration. See you soon. Good luck, guys. Keep doing calculus.